So Arms, Nintendo's new fighting IP for the Switch has recently come out and has been getting widespread attention from the Nintendo community. It includes a variety of single and multiplayer modes to choose from and a wide character selection, including Springman, Helix, Barton Bike, King Cobra, and Twin Tail. Uh, and I also think that it's a generally good game. But I've got to admit, after seeing several footage of it, I've noticed that it looks familiar. It was all like, it happened before, in a different way, but nobody can seem to explain or remember it. But then I remembered of a game about kids and squids. <laughs> That's right, Splatoon. And there are a lot of similarities between the two games that can meet the eye. So in this video, I'm going to look at the similarities between ARMS and Splatoon and find out whether or not ARMS is influenced by Splatoon. So let's punch our way into the video, shall we? Number 1. The Game's Announcements Now most games at least have a teaser, but mostly an announcement up to its release. And Splatoon and ARMS have this kind of announcement thing. So let's see what it's been through. At E3 2014, Splatoon was officially announced, while ARMS was announced at the Nintendo Switch presentation earlier this year. Splatoon was shown again in the 11 514 and 4115 Direct, but ARMS was only shown again in the 412 17 Direct. And finally, in May of both games' respective launch years, both games had their own Nintendo Directs. And speaking of the directs, both of which have obvious but contributing similarities with each other. Both directs took place in May of both games' respective launch years. Both directs were narrated by a person related to the game, Splatoon being narrated by an anonymous person from the Squid Research Lab, while Oz was narrated by the game's commentator, Ben. Both directs detailed characters, weapons, and online and single player modes. Both directs announced an online test demo so that people would be able to try out the game before its initial release. And finally, both directs took a different turn at the end and gave a look at a different game that was relevant at the time. Now most of these may not sound like mind-bending similarities, but they at least contribute to the fact that the directs have similarities with each other. But what about the actual games themselves? Well, to put it in short, they're pretty similar actually. Both games received positive reviews among the release from critics. Both games had a variety of multiplayer modes and weapons to choose from, with more that came in the future, giving them a lot of content. Both games were released around the start of summertime. Both games used characters in quirky and unique ways that nobody saw before until those games released. Both games started new franchises. And finally, both games stood out as new and original games on their respective systems. In conclusion, to put it in short, I do believe that ARMS is influenced by Splatoon. Sure, you may argue that this is because there's Nintendo exclusive IPs, that there's not enough evidence to support this idea, or the fact that some of the events just sound like bland coincidences, but I personally believe that there's more important evidence to support this idea. But whether they're similar or not, they're still really fun games to play, and I hope the best for Nintendo with ARMS and the upcoming Splatoon 2 coming out on July 21st, and that's really all I can say about it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Nintendo seems to have a focus on creating new IPs lately, and ARMS is one of those new IPs, so I hope it does well. But anyway, if you like this video, then click on Spring Man's hair. How does he get it like that? And if you like this video and want to see more, then click Ribbon Girl's Mask. I think it's red, so it probably fits in. And also my Twitter, if you're interested in that kind of thing. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.